How soon is too soon to ask someone what kind of relationship they're looking for? I can just say really quickly that I was eavesdropping on a conversation Nick Vile was having with someone the other day. And Nick Vile was on The Bachelor and just came out with a book on, he has that podcast about Vile relationships. Files. And he came out with a book on it. And I heard him say, I think he was talking to Sally Dar. And he said, don't ask someone what they're looking for. Tell them what you're looking for. Say, Ooh. I want to date you. Don't say, what are we? Never say, what are we? Don't say, what are you looking for? Say, I want to date you. Clearly asserting your needs. You have the power in the situation. And now it's on them. Balls in your court. Balls in, balls in their court now. Balls in their court. I really like that. I, I don't really remember exactly his reasoning for doing that, but it sounds right to me. I think it's just taking back the power. Yeah, I think taking back the power is what it comes down to. I don't know how to answer this question. Okay, well, that was all, that's why I picked this question, because wow. I was just overhearing a conversation about that. So in summary, say, tell them what you're looking for. But they're saying time-wise, how soon is too soon? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. But I'm just telling you what to say <laughs> when, when... Oh, God, I don't know. So it's like... <laughs> Feel it out. I don't think I don't think it ever is too soon. I think tell them what you're looking for when you know and when you feel like voicing that. Trust your gut. My least favorite thing. TY TYG. Yeah, my least favorite piece of advice. I love like people saying trust your gut because it's like if you knew like the bacteria and like viruses or whatever have you that's probably happening in my gut, you would not trust that. My gut's telling me. Right. Yeah. Totally. My guts, also, what's my, the my, difference between my guts, trusting your gut and trusting your heart? My gut's telling me, hey, seriously, stuffing mac and cheese and mashed potatoes at 10 a.m.? Seriously? What's Ho the difference hopefully, between trusting your gut and trusting your heart? Your gut um, is like a gut feeling. Yeah. And your heart is like a heartfelt situation. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Totally. Um, so I think how soon is too soon? I don't know. If you're looking to date someone, it's like when you feel like, obviously, if you, if, assuming you haven't been stalking them on like Instagram and romanticizing and building out a relationship in, in your mind, because that's going to feel like you're much farther along, especially if they're like a Cole from Love is Blind type situation where they're just kind of dumb and unaware. Mm -hmm. Like you're going to have to let them catch up with you or try to expedite the situation on their end. <laughs> Because if you're not, if your cycles aren't synced, then it's never going to, it's not going to work. Like you're, you're never going to be on the same page. Right. If you've romanticized it in your head is what right. I mean. Which like, there's a lot of times where I've been like, huh. I've had that before where it's like, I am like in my head, like when I fantasize about someone, I'm like, oh, we're like on the verge of a proposal here. Kids. And then I'll meet someone and it's like, they're like, what's your name again? And it is like the most jarring yeah. experience to go from a few hours ago you're on one knee now you forget my name whoa babe i'm putting you in a home yeah yeah me no yeah the, the, oh the yeah yeah the aggressor in this instance totally yeah okay um so i would just i there's no answer to this so oh no i, I just really wanted to share that I was moved by what Nick Lyle said. I would just make sure timeline wise you guys are on the same page. I think that you have to figure that out first. Oh my gosh. Well then that's the whole question. How soon is too soon? I don't know if you guys are on the same page. How soon is too soon? And then you saying timeline wise make sure you're on the same page. How? Because if in your head you're you're waiting for a proposal and then in their head they're like, oh this girl seems cool. I should introduce myself. <laughs> like, that doesn't match up. Right. Yeah. It's hard to know though when you're kind of so in deep you need to corner them becomes cloudy you need to corner them like a rat but i guess in this instance like they're already kind of like hooking up i'm assuming oh if they're already hooking up then i think you say i want to date you when you realize you want to date them or if you don't want to date them whatever say what you want when you realize what you want i think my favorite thing to do is be like hey all my friends are going to do something do you want to come yeah that's the best thing you can do yeah. then you find out is this real right okay next um, which one should, mm, what do I do if I don't like my sister's husband? I like this one. Oh yeah. I knew you would like that one. Yeah. Cause I have an answer for you because there's a lot of times recently, especially with people getting married that I know, um, I've figured out that the situation at hand is you unfortunately need to suck it up. 
Because what's going to happen here is as much as you fucking hate this person, this man, they're married. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So this like as long as she really likes him, you honestly just have to like let people enjoy things and let her be happy. Because what's going to happen is if she's in love with this guy and you say this guy sucks, I hate him. You're going to lose and then you're going to have a weird relationship with your sister. And also it's just it's not going to end well. You have to suck it up and let that. And and honestly, once you let that part go where it's like, this is not my. This is not my relationship. It's Mm -hmm. not my husband. Mm -hmm. You will feel so good. Yeah. Like when your friends are dating someone or whatever. And like, obviously, that's not a marriage thing, but it's like they seem really happy. It's like, okay, it's not my relationship. The same thing happened to me. I think I can say this because it's like I don't think she's listening on account of hating me. But my brother had a girlfriend that I was like, oh, are you joking? Um, (laughs) For like a few years. And I had a really, really tough time with it because I was like, oh, my God, like my brother, like is the sweetest, like most amazing, like funny, like sweet boy. And I was just like, what? And I had a really hard time and my relationship with my brother suffered because I was like, could not understand but i guess i i didn't need to understand because i'm not the one in it and you just have to just like be like okay hi and suck it up because yeah. if you don't just suck it up your relationship with your brother or your sister whoever it is your friend is gonna suffer and you don't want that i think when i have questions it's like what if because i was like i'll use my brother for example there were times where i was like okay he doesn't seem happy so what do you do then hope she's listening by the way <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she is. That's like a very real possibility. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the end. I just know that like every time I've been like, I hate this person. You have to say something. It's like, okay, well, they're in love. Right. So you're not a part of that. Right. I'm just saying like so when clearly yourself. like they are making the person you're close with unhappy. Get them drunk. Uh-huh. Chat. Have a chat. Get your friend drunk. Get, get your friend drunk. Have a chat. Or whatever reason know. you don't like this the other person. Like maybe it's a you thing. Take a step back. Look yourself in the mirror. Uh-huh. Maybe it's a you thing. Second of all, you're going to lose that battle no matter what unless they've like cheated on the other person. Like there's really nothing you can do. Or right. There or, really isn't. Or they're like dealing. They'll figure it out for themselves, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. There's really nothing you can do at the end of the day. Yeah. I keep. I think I keep saying at the end of the day more than usual. Um, I keep sweating more than usual. You want to take your. You can take Am your. Am I emitting take heat Take your clothes you? off. Can you feel it? No, I feel great. I can't because I'm wearing the same shirt that we recorded in yesterday. Who cares? I care because I've never worn this set, so it left a bunch of green fuzz all over the uh, shirt. Oh, okay. So we'll just have to move forward. The hardest part about when we give advice is I think we confuse people more than when they came in. Then stop asking us for advice. That's what I've been saying. I oh. would say if, you, if, if you're able to slowly poison your sister's boyfriend, your sister's husband, you could do that too. Okay. Without awesome. her noticing. And if you have no moral compass, you could totally do that. If you can even maybe convince yourself that that's the right thing to do, then do that. Right. Yeah. For sure. This is not legal advice. No. 